Hello again and welcome to this CAD 101 series. Today we'll be extruding a little square and on shape just so you can get the basics of how to make a simple part. All right, so first you're gonna obviously wanna create a document for your part to exist in. You can either create a folder and then create inside uh, this folder, or you can just uh, create a document and not assign it to a folder yet. So yeah, I'm just gonna create inside this folder. I'm gonna create a new document for this great big blue create button. There you have it, you have made a document on shape. All right, here we go. As you can see, we are on the parts tab um, of our document, but here we go. So in CAD, you have three basic planes, kind of real planes. Obviously there's an infinite number of planes, but whether you're opening it in SOLIDWORKS or anything else, it will look like this. You'll have a front plane, a right plane, and a top plane. Maybe you remember from like kindergarten or whatever when they would have you draw a box and they would say draw it from the front, draw it from the top, draw it from the right. This is really um, what we have here. Uh, if you just click on where in this little die up here, I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like, but um, you can click top, you can uh, do anything else. You can you move around by right clicking with your mouse. So holding that right click button down and then dragging. Here you go. All right, so any CAD part is made up of little sketches and then we turn those 2D sketches into uh, 3D parts, but Obviously, first, you have to start out with your sketch. So you can just choose a plane for your sketch, just kind of vibe in. Um, front, top, right, whatever you want to do. We're just going to be making a little square. So you'll start out by either going here or using a keyboard shortcut, but I'll just, um, you know, explain it this way. You'll move your mouse over to this features tree. You'll right click on where it says top because that's where I think is, I would think you would look at a little square from the top. Right click on it, say view normal to. So this just means you're viewing normal to. It's not skewed, it's not at an angle. You're really just able to see your part as it is. All right, so here we are normal to the top plane. And as you can see, we're gonna be sketching in this plane. We're gonna sketch this square and then we're gonna add some dimensions to it. It's gotta be fun. All right. You, what you are gonna, gonna wanna do is click on the top plane. It should show up orange. Just left click on it after you're normal to it. Then say sketch, see left corner, sketch. All right. So you do not wanna click anything over here till you're done with your sketch. Don't say yes, don't say no. When you are done, you can click that check mark, but we're not done, so we don't get to use that yet. All right, so don't mess with this right now, but we are going to start by making a little rectangle. So we're gonna turn it into a square. So move your mouse over to this corner rectangle, so it'd be on the top, click on it. So you gotta start for a point, just left click down and drag it out. And it doesn't matter, you can make it huge, you can make it small. I would, cause we're gonna be adding dimensions to it, which is something you always, always, always wanna do. You're always gonna wanna make sure you're not just eyeballing things, that you're making things exact cause it can have huge consequences later. Uh, a bigger, more important projects. But yeah, you can, I would just recommend making it a reasonable size so we don't have to zoom all the way out to find it again but so here we go here's our rectangle and after you made it you could just click this again so you don't just keep drawing rectangles because when 
this is activated anytime you click somewhere it will assume that you want to make a rectangle but we don't want to make a rectangle we just want this rectangle to be here right now all right so now it's time to add a dimension to it so obviously length would equal the width in the rectangle and a square so we're just gonna drag this out somewhere drop it down you don't drag it out but you just click on it and you just set it somewhere um, so yeah just click set click somewhere else three inches we're gonna make it a three by three by three inch cube there we go three inches and this is just a two tree drawing from the top view of a cube so set that out three inches all right and obviously you do not need to define these so these are already defined by this three and by this three all right we're all good so now we can we're done with our sketch so we can just click yep we are done all right now you have your sketch you are now if you right click and drag again you are now viewing it in a 3d form but you see that it's still in 2d and we don't really want that so you can view normal to the top again doesn't particularly matter but you might as well all right so then we're going to extrude and extrude just means kind of to raise something up also an on shape um, I know SOLIDWORKS has like a separate cut function, um, but you could extrude it out of things, you can ma take material away, it just has to do with adding or removing material. All right, click on this, and you could do one of two things. You can click on the sketch in the features tree, or you can just go down here and click on the face of the sketch itself. All right, does that make sense? If I right click and drag you're seeing that this is now extruding one inch and on shape for some reason just kind of assumes like it's a the default is one inch but that's just kind of a placeholder um, we can click on this little arrow and have it go the opposite direction um, if I wanted to remove something we don't have anything to remove from we're not going to do that yet but I would go over here if I wanted to go through some planes or something, I could go in this, but right now we're just not going to want to do that. All we're going to want to do is change this step to three inches. All right, so once you have this set to three inches, oh, my browser just cut out there, but once you have this set three inches, you can just click yep I want this property is done you're all good and you can see that it was important that we knew what our dimensions were to make this cube that we knew we had it be a three by three because otherwise we would just be guessing we could never really make it into a proper cube because as you can see before we put in that three by three it was like a 3.683 or whatever uh, it's a really long number and there's no way we could have guessed that all right, so now you have your cube, and just for fun, we're going to make it a color. So we're going to go over to this little extrude feature on our feature tree, right click, and we're going to add an appearance. Um, I'm going to add this red, you can make another color, you can do whatever, but yeah, or you don't have to do this if you don't want you, if you really like the kind of pale blue color. Yeah, here's just a very basic part and in more videos we're going to be going over uh, different functions um, like uh, hopefully next we will go into how to remove from an extrude. So if you want to make holes and things and add more layers and more depth uh, to your parts, that will be great. And after this part series, we will be moving on to an assembly series. So yeah, thank you for joining me and... Keep going.